Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play The Legend of Carandia 3, Malcolm's Revenge. And when last we left off, you may notice a lot of things lying around here. That's because I did a little bit of rummaging in the dump for items that we could use to trade with Herman for some seeds and also things we need to make fish cream sandwiches. Because we're going to need to make at least one of them if we're going to assemble all of the Carandians in one location. Before we go and visit Herman, however, we do have the situation here with Branton and Kallik. We could be nice and give them some cheese, Kallik certainly doesn't deserve it, but hey, if we're nice, maybe Kallik will think a little bit better of us. That's not likely, but hey, let's be nice anyway. I do not need your charity. Fair enough, I was a little worried that that would get us killed. Let's see if Brandon wants our charity instead. I think he will. What? Why would you waste perfectly good cheese on them? I think it would be a nice gesture of reconciliation. Oh, please, please, please give us some cheese, Malcolm. Well, charity does begin at home. Oh, you didn't need our charity, did you, Kallik? I think you did, and you just didn't want to admit it to us. By the way, I'm sure that, uh, Kallik will share that cheese eventually. Hopefully. With that out of the way, let us now go and uh, say hello to Herman. And hopefully Herman will want to buy the various things that we have, and he'll want to sell the one thing that we want from him. We do have a diamond. And we also have a sapphire, so we have lots of things that we can use to uh, trade for the item. I thought we had to uh, sell him the item that he wanted to buy for the item on the table. No, he just wants some sort of money, like a gem. Maybe the coin would work too. You'll also notice that I have various items that I've accumulated right here. I used the second piece of firewood that we had to make another toy horse. I also have the shoe, the bone, and the machete. At this point, I'm not taking any chances on the items that uh, Herman wants. He'll ask for all sorts of things. So, what will you buy? Right now, the only thing I'm willing to purchase is... I'm buying machetes now. You have any extras? Case in point, he wants a machete. We have a machete. Not bad, but there is a small crack in it. I can only pay you, say, this much. What? All I get is these seeds? What a ripoff. Certainly not, because we can use those seeds, and also we can use this orange peel. Maybe. Oh. I've always loved the orange mouth gag. We'll just put that down and leave, shall we? We can't do anything with the orange peel that will help us, and we can't get any other thing that he'll buy until we leave and come back. What else do you want to sell me, Herman? So, what do you have for sale? At this moment, I am selling this beautiful item. That is not something that we want. At all. So, what will you buy? Right now, the only thing I'm willing to purchase is... I'm buying socks now. You have any extras? Sadly not. We have a shoe, but no sock, so we'll just leave and come back. If only we could just say, I don't want that thing, what else do you have? But no, the game isn't programmed that way, so we have to leave and come back for what he's selling and buying to reset. So, what do you have for sale? At this moment, I am selling this beautiful item. That is not something we want, Herman. So, what will you buy? Right now, the only thing I'm willing to purchase is... I'm buying saws now. You have any extras? It's not something I've encountered, Herman, so we're going to leave, and I hope that you'll want to have one of the things that I actually have in trade. So, what do you have for sale? At this moment, I am selling this beautiful item. That is something that we could potentially buy. Maybe he'll ask for a toy soldier at some point. That's fair. It's yours. Not fair at all, but we'll take it anyway. We don't have a toy soldier. Well, we didn't. Now we do. What are you actually going to be buying? So, what will you buy? Right now, the only thing I'm willing to purchase is... I'm buying saws now. You have any extras? Look, Herman, we didn't have one last time, and we don't have one this time. 
can you trade for, say, a toy horse, or a shoe, or a flask? I'll actually accept a flask. So, what do you have for sale? At this moment, I am selling this beautiful item. That is something that we want. Hopefully we can use that to fix the uh, machine that makes fish cream sandwiches. That's fair. It's yours. A diamond for a stick. Doesn't seem very fair to me, but we'll take it. So, what will you buy? Right now, the only thing I'm willing to purchase is... I'm buying toy soldiers now. You have any extras? And us buying that was worth it, because now we can trade it for a sesame seed. Not bad, but there is a small crack in it. I can only pay you, say, this much. What? All I get is these seeds? What a rip-off. Marvelous, we have exactly what we need now. We'll put this down here, and we'll say farewell to Herman. We'll never need to interact with you ever again. I imagine there are other things that he could sell and other things that he could buy, but fortunately we were able to deal with that quite quickly and painlessly, which means that we can now get on with the important stuff, which is fixing the fish cream sandwich machine, and then making a fish cream sandwich, and then showing that to the voice of reason. Then all we need to do is we need to uh, find something that is the likeness of the king. I have an idea on one thing that we could uh, use for that, but I haven't seen that thing for a while. We also probably want this. And we want that as well. Actually, we want lots of things right now. We can drop that flask just for now. Actually, no, we can hold on to that if we deal with the crutch immediately before we go and deal with the, uh, getting the cream. Let us fix your machine, or at the very least, prop it up a bit more. It seems to be fixed anyway. Now can you make some sandwiches? Sorry, we're all out of ingredients. You bring me some eels, sesame, and cream, and I'll make you a sandwich. Why is this standing? I thought we'd need the crutch. That's not part of the recipe. So we don't actually need the crutch at all. That's not part of the recipe. Fair enough, we'll just drop it here, forget we ever picked it up, and leave. Turns out buying the crutch was not useful at all, and we just had to wait. Let's go in here instead, and go and get some eels. We need the eels so that we can, uh, get the, uh, ingredients to get the cows. Ow. We've done this before, a long process to get what we want. Great, an eel. Excellent. We have one, and we don't want to uh, drop this nail. This would make a nice party. You'll need to move, Malcolm. There we go. We'll do this, and then we'll grab another one. Great, an eel. It appears right at your feet, which means that we Who need to move. Put a rug in the sewer. And we need to ignore the invisible rug. There we go. We have this now. Then we fill these up. Loaded with water. Loaded with water indeed. And again. Loaded with water. Brilliant. We have some uh, sprouts. And we need to put this here. No, not that one. This one. There we go. Getting things mixed up. And we want another eel, don't we? Just one. Great. An eel. Excellent. We could always get another and uh, make another fish cream sandwich, but that would involve more trading with... Uh, with Herman. We don't want that. We can drop this flask now. We don't need it. I bet I can climb back out of here. I bet you can. I've seen you do it many times before. Excellent. Yeah! What a disagreeable passage. Don't complain, pal. It worked. I wonder, is it possible for Herman to uh, sell and buy exactly the same thing? And then you could effectively uh, trade one of the gems for a uh, pile of sesame seeds. Would be interesting, I imagine there is a chance that could happen. So we know what to do here. We want to go and use these sprouts here to get the cows, and then we get the cream, and then we can make a sandwich. One. And... Two. Excellent. Welcome back, cows! Those poor cows. 
They're addicted to sesame sprouts. They should be eating grass out on the prairie. You're right. Maybe we could start a rehabilitation program for them. Or maybe we have more important things to worry about. We now have access to cream. Once we've done this. Excellent. Let's just grab some. It's leaking cream. Ah, yes, we need to click here. And drink some. Boy, that's thick. Yes, it is. Let's go and uh, take these ingredients over to the fish cream sandwich parlor and make ourselves a delicious fish cream sandwich, which we'll promptly eat. Okay, we're not going to eat it, because if we eat it, oh man, we'd have to deal with Herman again. Let's not deal with Herman again. Can we click on the sky? Where's all the birds? We can! A nice piece of attention to detail there. All right. Only in Corandia would they use snail shells as furniture. The uh, areas where you can click on things are a little bit bigger than you'd think. We have all the things that we need to make one sandwich. Wonderful. Put it in the hopper. I will. Thanks. No problem. We'll even hold on to the flask, because why not? Thanks. No problem. Thanks. Great. Now we're back in business. For one sandwich. Excellent. How do you even make money? I have no idea. You know how we're going to make money when we're done with all of this? With the cheese maker. I hope no one's looking. Amazing. Yes, it is. Absolutely amazing. Do you want some cheese? I think I've had my fill of cheese, thank you. No problem. Let us leave and go look for the final thing that we need, which is something that looks like the king. We don't have any coins, and even if we did, they'd have Brandon on them. There is one thing that I think we could use, and that is that book that we saw at the beginning of the game. It's gone, however, so somewhere in here will be the book, hopefully? Now I know why they gave me such a cheap deal on this place. Because it's falling apart? Is there anything in the drawers? I built that cabinet myself, and they said I had no skills. Well, I suppose technically it's working. Don't tell me this has been on all these years. We've been through this, Malcolm. It has been. What about the bed? I've been looking forward to taking a nap in my own bed. Oh, he's just going to have a nap again. He has really wanted one. Hey, you can't take a nap now. What about your trial and everything? Boy, you're no fun at all, are you? So, no nap for us. We need to find something, though. More fine Corandian workmanship. Indeed. Look what was hidden under the bed. Ah, there was something. This is a good likeness of William. Excellent. We have all that we need then. How handy that uh, that single page of that book managed to survive being destroyed. We actually want to go down here. Done. Ow. All right, we have everything that we need, Voice of Reason. At least I think we do. What do you want to see first? Show me the artifacts you plan to use to summon William's ghost. Well, we could use this magical cabinet and the uh, picture of uh, the king. But we don't have the required seven people. I can override that requirement just long enough for us to get a preview. <laughs> Malcolm did not kill us. There is a curse on the enchanted knife. Any person of royal Corandian blood who handles the blade will be stabbed to death. Well, that certainly is a, a revelation. So the knife is cursed. We also need to, I think, uh, show off this sandwich. I'm actually going to save before we show off the sandwich, just in case uh, the, the uh, statue decides to eat it. Please do not eat this sandwich. Excellent. You have assembled all the required elements. 
Yeah, but how are we supposed to get the Corandians in here? They won't budge. If they won't come here, we will have to visit them in the parlor. I've heard that sound before. That is a sound from Lands of Law 1. Everyone is here Do now. Do not waste our time. Summon your witness. Fair enough. I was about to click around and say hello to people. Let's actually talk to people first. Do not waste our time. Summon your witness. Okay, fair enough, voice of reason. Everyone's here. Let's just summon the witness. It's literally the only item that we have now. What happened to our cheese maker? We wanted to make loads of money. Oh, never mind. Let's just prove our innocence and be on our way. Malcolm did not kill us. There is a curse on the enchanted knife. Any person of royal Corandian blood who handles the blade will be stabbed to death. I don't think they're convinced. They think this is just a parlor trick. Isn't there any more convincing proof? Let us view the events in question. It was many years ago. Malcolm and I were alone in the dining room. We had roasted a delicious Corandian pheasant for dinner. I grasped the knife, which had been a present from an anonymous admirer. The rest you can see for yourselves. Congratulations, Malcolm. Nice to have you back. This whole odyssey has been annoying, but necessary, I suppose. I'm sorry, Malcolm. I owe you an apology. I love this part of my job. You! You make me sick! So... does this mean I'm your uncle? Your mother's half-cousin? Finally, a clean slate, a fresh start. Who could ask for more? Sure, but what are we going to do for fun now? I'm glad that's over. Next on my agenda is a nice long nap in my own bed. What's fun about that? Virtue is triumphant, and a job is well done. That's what's fun. Oh, yeah? Well, I... I've got an idea. Why don't you both get lost? I'll take charge from here on, thank you. Excellent. At last. <laughs> Well-deserved rest, Malcolm. You've earned it. Also, you may be innocent of killing the king. Yeah, 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 you did good. And you scored a lot of points, too. But, that doesn't kind of forgive the fact... Oh! No rest for Malcolm, eh? Who's this? Good evening, sir. Don't be alarmed. I've thrown down that dirt to provide a demonstration of the remarkable ZQ4000 vacuum and home hygiene system. We don't care. And I'd like to demonstrate the Malcolm 4000 unwanted salesman removal system. Excellent. 
Back to sleep you go. Anyway, the, the fact that you are uh, innocent of killing the king kind of doesn't redeem the fact that you tried to kill everyone after the event. Oh. Again? Look, we don't want anything, all right? Uh, uh, excuse us, but Brandon here insists on abdication. That means you, Malcolm, are the new king of Carandia. Hmm, well then, as my first official act as king, I order you two to go repair the Colossus on the Isle of Cats, then turn yourselves back into mice. He just wants to rest, everyone. Let him rest. Really? Again? Okay, who is it this time? Who could it possibly be? There you are! Did you forget about us? Daddy! Who are you? And that, I think, is the end of The Legend of Karandia 3, Malcolm's Revenge, and the end of the Karandia series. The credits are beginning to roll, and we're presented with questions that we don't have the answers to, like, who was that person at the very end? This is a really, um, interesting... This game is, uh, I'm trying to think of the words to say. It's very interesting in the sense that it does some things extremely well, like providing multiple ways of solving problems. On the other hand, it also does some things quite badly in comparison to the previous two games, like the graphical switch from the uh, pixel art to the uh, 3D rendering is, uh, 3D rendered backgrounds, isn't nice looking at all. Also, there are a lot of things that uh, pad out the game. Also, notice the uh, brief clip of, of uh, Command & Conquer in the background there. There are a lot of things that pad out the length of this game. Without the padding, this game would have been a lot shorter. And it certainly shows, even at the very end, the fact that we uh, had to go and trade to get various things. Also, I do like this ending here, with the uh, various people that worked on the game just showing off uh, who they are. Often you get the names, but you don't get faces attached to the names. Also, it's rather silly as well. But overall, did I enjoy Karandia 3 Malcolm's Revenge? I did somewhat, yes. Not as much as I thought I would enjoy it. I thought I'd enjoy it a lot more considering the previous two games in the series. But people did say that the game was... That is quite a dance you've got going on there, Malcolm. Dance, Malcolm, dance! Anyway, uh... People um, have said that the game is far worse than the previous two games in the series, and I don't quite agree with them. It definitely has its strengths, but it also has its weaknesses, and uh, the weaknesses shine through when they're, uh, when they're displayed, unlike in the previous two games, where they were generally far better overall. I still most certainly enjoyed it, it definitely has its strong points. The music is fantastic, and uh, the pixel art that we did see is really good. But it certainly has its flaws. It is a flawed game, that's what I'm trying to get at here. The game has its flaws, and if you can accept those flaws, you'll have a great time playing it. But if you can't look past the uh, problems with the game, then you probably won't enjoy it, especially if you have uh, such fond memories of the uh, previous two games. And here are the various actors. They all did a fine job. They all did a brilliant job. It is still quite an enjoyable game to play if you like point-and-click adventure games, if you can look past all of the padding. The going to collect bones, the having to trade items with Herman, and everything else that you need to do. The previous two games didn't have as much of that. That is indeed Malcolm Jr. We have no idea who that character that was with that kid was. At all. Probably something that we missed. Randia 3, Malcolm's Revenge. A game that uh, I'm glad I've done. Not the best game in the series. It may be the worst, but it's still pretty good. And so, the game comes to a close, and there are no more games in the series. The series never went beyond the third one.
which is a shame. I would have liked to have seen where Karandia could have gone. But in the same token, I'm quite glad that it did end at 3, because it could very well have gotten worse. That said, this game isn't a terrible game. A continuing appreciative memory of that person there. Indeed, this game was dedicated to someone, and what better dedication than a video game? A quite decent video game. There is still more that this game can show us. There are alternate ways to leave Karandia that we didn't explore. There are death animations that we need to show off. And, most importantly, there are various shortcuts throughout the game that you can use to bypass certain parts of the padding. If you're smart and know the secrets of the game, you can bypass quite a lot. And you can get through the game a lot quicker than even I have now. And so, when we come back, folks, we will return back to the beginning of this game. And this time, we'll do things far more incompetently than we did the first time round, by getting captured over and over again. Let's see what happens if we do end up in jail. Maybe we'll actually meet this character that we were meant to meet. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.